Hey guys, welcome to day 19. Today we're going to do a 10 minute full body session. We're going to really focus on strengthening our core and then getting a full body stretch at the same time. So this one's gonna be a tricky one. Every second movement for all 20 movements is going to be a plank. So your core is gonna get a really good workout, but you're going to get a really good stretch at the same time. So I hope you guys enjoy this one. It's gonna be a really tough one, but I know you guys can do it. Enjoy. A reasonable life can be achieved by anyone. An okay life, an okay job, okay relationships, Anyone can have these. If you want a great life, you must commit to leading a great life. To doing things the majority do not do. Commit to thinking like the minority, not like the majority. Here are seven principles to live by for an abundant, happy, successful life. Number one, the first principle to live by is that one day you will be gone. It may be in 50 years, it may be in 50 weeks, it may be next week, or even today. I don't know, you don't know, nobody knows. And rather than live in fear of this, we should embrace the fact that this life is short, short and unpredictable. Knowing this, we must live fully today. It is not a recipe for recklessness, rather a recipe to give your all today, to give your very best today in everything you do, to give your greatest energy to this day, to your family, to everyone you encounter today. It is a reminder for you to leave your best self in each moment. What if they couldn't speak to you tomorrow? What if you were gone tomorrow, what would they speak of you? What can you do that will leave a lasting, positive memory in the lives of everyone you come into contact with? It is about being lighthearted, knowing that in the end, none of this stuff matters. The only thing that ever matters is how you made others feel and how you felt in your own heart. It is about knowing that things can never go with you in the end. The spirit lives on, but the things, they die with your physical body. Remembering that we are going to die is the greatest reminder we can have in our daily lives because it keeps us focused on what's really important and what is real. Number two, there is nothing you cannot be do or have. If there has been someone, even one person on this planet that has done it before, that means you can too. It doesn't mean it will be easy, but it does mean it is possible. And as long as it is possible, you can work towards it. You can make a plan, learn what needs to be done for you to live your craziest, most abundant life a life most would consider impossible. But you know, impossible broken down states, I am possible. You know, impossible broken down is simply the process of making a plan and being willing to work for that plan. Principle number three, nothing is worth it if it doesn't make you happy. If it doesn't A, make you happy or B, make you better, don't make time for it. Now, before any of you jump on this, let me clarify. Nothing is worth it if it doesn't make you happy. That means if it doesn't make you happy now while you're doing it, or it isn't going to make you happy as a result of doing it, it most likely is not worth it. Just about everything worth fighting for is going to require a real fight to win a great prize. You will have to suffer and sacrifice for almost anything worthwhile in life. But you should ask yourself this question about everything you do in your life. Does this make me happy? If the answer is no, ask yourself, will this sacrifice I am making lead to more happiness in the long term? If not, you should let it go. Number four, be yourself. Always, no exceptions. 
It's such a tragedy to see so many people on this planet living lives they don't want to live, just because they listened to other people who did the same. The only way you can live happy in this life, the only way you can be successful is if you be you. Let me repeat that because perhaps it is the most important thing you could ever apply to your life. The only way you can be happy in this life, the only way you can be successful is if you be you. You will never be truly happy in life if you are constantly doing things to please others, to compete with others, or to be like another. You are unique, and that is your greatest gift. When you follow your own path, regardless if that fits in with others, you open up space for great things to enter your life. Compare yourself to no one. Compete with no other. Make your own decisions and it will lead to your greatest life. Principle number five, everything you need is already within you. In this world, we see endless examples of people who seemingly have it all, materially speaking, but they are empty inside. Things will never complete you. Other people will never complete you, regardless of what Terry McGuire says. There's a saying, Needing nothing attracts everything. When you come from a place of needing nothing, of seeking nothing outside yourself to make you happy, you open up space for more amazing things to enter your life. And if things don't come, that's fine. You don't need them. Real happiness is never found outside of us. It is not found in possessions or wealth. Happiness is always and only found within us. It is a state of mind. Never forget this. Happiness is the highest level of success. Do what feels good. The rest will follow. Principle number six. There's no room for toxic people, but there is never ending space for positive energy and positive people. Surrounding yourself with energy killers is one of the worst things you can do if you want to live a happy, fulfilled, and successful life. Unfortunately, not everyone, including families and friends, will share the same positive energy you have. Some will take a while. Some might never get there. Let them run their own race, while you focus on living your own happiness. Those who are truly aligned with you will never hold you back from living the life you want to live. Don't ever dim your light to fit in with others. Shine bright. Those who see your spark will shine with you. Remember, you cannot live a great life, a happy life, if you surround yourself with toxic people. Principle number seven, whatever you focus on, you will find. If you search for negativity in this world, you will find plenty of it. If you search for hate, anger, violence, and sadness, you will find it. But the same is true on the flip side. If your only intention is to search for the good, you will find only the good. Whatever meaning you give your life becomes your life. It can be a failure or a lesson, heartbreak or character building. Life is against you or making you stronger. Because there is no such thing as reality. We choose our own reality by the meaning we give each moment in our lives. Make it your intention to look for the good in your life, to notice the good in others, to be grateful for what you do have, to see challenges as opportunities to show your true character. Remember, what you give your attention to will become your experience in life. Practice seeing the good in your life and in others. Think the best, expect the best, and always ask yourself, how can this benefit my life? Leave who you were, love who you are, and look forward to who you will become.